my channel. My name is Tamara and I am your personal stylist, answering all your questions on style trends and how to style with purpose. If you're new to my channel, I teach you how to rediscover your style starting from your own closet. Each week I share videos on how to style, but also how to maintain your wardrobe. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell button to be updated every Wednesday on new videos. Today's video, I'm sharing five tips on how to better care for your clothes. I'm a firm believer in investing in your pieces. If you do need to spend less on your clothes, there's nothing wrong with that, but it's really being thoughtful of what it is that you're purchasing. Tip number one, I wanted to talk more about when you're purchasing your clothes, what to think about. I find a lot of the time, especially from working in retail, that we are very fixated on a size. And I'm here to tell you, and I'm sure you've heard this before, the size really doesn't matter. So many brands have different ways of how they size things and it becomes very confusing. So one, trying clothes on is important, but two, also realizing you need something that fits your body. We're all different shapes and sizes and we have to learn to embrace that. Having said that, if you see something that you really like and it happens to fit in your, for example, your bum and your legs really nicely, especially if you work out a lot, but it seems to be a little bit bigger in the waist, don't be afraid to buy the pants because they do fit your legs properly and then have the waist taken in. Here's an insider tip. When you have clothes that are a little bit bigger, you can always have them taken in. If they're too small, you're not gonna have enough fabric to be able to take the clothes out. This now leads me into tip number two, investing or having a tailor or a seamstress on hand. If you know how to sew already or can hem, that's a great quality and a skill to have. I personally am not very good at it. And I did have a seamstress when I was living in Vancouver and she always thought I was a little bit crazy because I did have a lot of clothes that I would constantly alter. And for me, it made my clothes feel really new. This is something else I hear very often is that I don't want to spend the money to have the clothes altered. Well, wouldn't you rather that your clothes fit you exactly how they should be because someone's able to take them up in the leg by hemming or to be taken in the waist. These are all, yes, small investments, but at the end of the day, you want your clothes to last as long as possible. So making those minor amendments goes a lot further than just going out and buying more clothes washing your clothes this is a big one this is really an important part of maintaining your clothes but also to help in the longevity of them last week's video if you missed it i talked about how to care for your tights tights are a very delicate fabric that if you're too harsh on them can rip and tear very easily i'll be sure to post the link above so you can click and watch when this video is finished all right, so let's dive into those tips on how to wash and maintain your clothes. Step number one is if there are pieces you have that you can actually wash by hand, this will help your clothes to last longer. One, your hands are not as forceful as a washing machine, but let's be real, not everybody has time to wash their clothes by hand. It's definitely a dream, I think. It's a good pastime. However, like I said, we're all really busy. So if you are using your washing machine, be sure to look at the detergent that you're purchasing. There is definitely selection on the market and there are ones that are more environmentally friendly. And if that's something that you're really wanting to incorporate into your wash, I'll be sure to provide a few that I've found and ones that I've actually used in the past. The next step is when you're washing your clothes, for example, jeans. We all have lots of jeans. And I would suggest when you're washing your jeans to put them inside out, make sure that there are like colors. That is still very much a thing. And I think it just helps with the maintenance of your clothes. It also helps to maintain your clothes by keeping those like colors. And I'm talking about if everything's really dark or if you have really bright colors. And obviously if it's white, you keep all the whites together. So back to the jeans washing them inside and out cold water and be sure to hang them to dry again i know time is of the essence 
but Saturdays and Sundays are usually slower days for most people, maybe not all. Comment below what day you tend to do all of your laundry. With that being said, hanging your clothes helps to weigh them down and also to take out wrinkles. And the reason why I say to avoid the dryer is because the dryer, again, is a heat mechanism and because it's so powerful and there's a lot of movement happening within the dryer, you have wear and tear on your clothes. Tip number four, let's talk about shoes. I am a huge shoe fanatic. Not gonna lie, I have more shoes than I probably need, but I've always found them to be my guilty pleasure that I love and adore, and I definitely try and take the best care of my shoes. Now, when you first buy a good pair of shoes, or you found shoes that are leather bound, or they're just made of better quality, I would recommend if they have, again, a leather sole, to put on a toppy and you put the top on before your shoes are actually worn out on the pavement. You'll see that the top actually creates a nice layer between the bottom part of the shoe of where it folds over from where your foot sits and it gives it a little bit of height. Not only that, a toppy is far more secure, so you're not slipping or doing any fun nose dives because nobody wants that. Now, these shoes definitely need to be fixed, um, but I would recommend as well if your shoes on the uh, heel tack have come apart, finding a cobbler who can repair it. And I bought them for the intent of always having a good pair of shoes to rely on. Tip number five is ironing. Okay. I personally hate ironing. I can't stand it. I've had my mother who is really good at ironing. My Zia's were like, I had one Zia that was her stress relief was to iron. For me, it stresses me out to iron. I decided to invest in a steamer. I find the steamer does work. There have been times where my steamer is somewhere else and I end up using a blow dryer. And when you're doing that, just make sure to hold the fabric down and press against it. This helps to take out the wrinkles that you don't want in your clothes. One more thing I wanted to add was folding your clothes. I use a few different methods when I'm folding my clothes. One is the um, Marie Kondo method. I have a folding board. I find that the folding board is really helpful, especially with big bulky sweaters to fold them and make everything the same. And then you just pile them one on top of another. For when it comes to dress shirts, blazers, and outerwear, I tend to put everything on a hanger. My two choices of hangers are a wooden hanger and I use this more for when I'm hanging blazers or outerwear. And then for dress shirts and things that are a little bit more slippery or silky feeling, I use a velvet hanger. And the reason why I like the velvet hanger is that you can actually why I really like the velvet hanger is because clothes actually stick on them and they don't move, slip or slide around. Now I have shared the five ways how you can better care for your clothing, plus an additional to bonus tip. I'd love to hear in the comments below how you care for your clothes and how often you wash them. What do you find is a really big struggle when you're trying to maintain your clothes? I also have taken an outline of the board that I personally use. You can download it for free and use a piece of cardboard and you could probably and you can layer the cardboard in order to make a proper board so you can fold and keep all your clothes in a neat order. I'd love to know if you have any takeaways from today's video. This is something that I really enjoy helping my clients with when it comes to their clothes. It's also the maintenance and putting their closets in order. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to subscribe. Make sure to share this with your friends. Hit that bell button so I know to make more more videos just like it. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Meatsly. 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 It's a new word.